Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Azure Data Factory Master Program video series, in this particular session, we will say hands on how to convert Parquet to the CSV using the 15 steps in the Azure Data Factory exactly. The scenarios, if you see, there are two scenarios we will discuss. One is how to convert single Parquet file to the CSV file. Let's say we have uh, multiple types of uh, files in a folder. You have CSV, we have a zip files. You have Avro or other types of files also in a folder, but one single parquet file which I want to convert into the CSV using the Azure Data Factory. How to do the second scenario? We have a folder, and in that folder we have multiple parquet files. All of them I need to convert into the CSV. How we can able to do these two scenarios? We will cover in this session. The prerequisite for this hands-on is we need two storages: source blob and sync blob. Uh, and I need one data factor in that I need a one integration runtime for computation two linked services one is for source one is for sync two data sets one is for source one is for sync and the activities one copy activity pipeline is I'll be using the injection pipeline so hands on steps if you see first I need a uh, three services source blob sync blob and ADF and inside source uh, blob I'll be creating a custom folder and I'll upload first a single parquet file and convert into the CSV and load it into the custom Okay, so these are the total five steps. So the fifth step for the uh, CSV file conversion will be done only once the pipe turned on. So now next step is we need to open ADF and we need to create two linked services, two data sets and add the pipeline. In that pipeline, we need to drag the copy activity. We need to reference source, source data set and sync data set. Then we can run the pipeline. Okay, so these are the steps. Let's start doing the one by one. So the first three steps we will do. The three steps means we need to create the three different resources. First one is source block, second one is sync block, third one is data factory. So for that, I'm logging into the portal.azure.com. So let's click on storage account. Let's click create storage account. Okay. Here you can create a cloud pundit iPhone dev iPhone RG. Click OK. Come down, select your cloud pundit. Okay. Uh, source blob one. Click review create. So once everything is fine, then we have option to create. Click create. So second tab is I'll be creating the sync storage. Go inside the sync storage. So go inside the storage account. Click create storage account. So go inside this same resource group cloud on date sync block one. Okay, click review plus create. Create it. So the third resource that I need to create is Azure Data Factory. Right. Let's log in into the portal and uh, let's create the data factory. Let's click on data factories. Click create data factories. So pay as you go. This is the device on RG Cloud Pandit ADF version 2 15.08. Then just click review plus create. Click create. So we need to create the three resources we just created. Source blob, sync blob, and ADF. So source side we need to create a custom and upload the parquet file. Sync side I'll create the custom content. Okay, let's finish those two. Go to source blob, go to resource, come down, go inside the containers. Let's click create container. And this is basically I'll say cust folder. Cust is a basically container. Under this cust, I'll be uploading the one parquet file. Okay. So Parquet is a columnar file format, which is not human readable, which is a compressed. So if you see, I have cast two. Uh, there are two Parquet files I supposed to have. Here you can see one Parquet file, credit one underscore daily. Okay, let's upload this. Let me show you what data we have in this. For that, I have the Parquet Weaver. How to install this Parquet Weaver, that particular video link I'll be putting under description. You can just go and watch that particular session in order to understand how we can able to view the parquet data okay so credit one underscore daily so all the columns i want to see so these are this is the data that we have under this credit underscore daily dot parquet 
okay this particular data i'll be converting into the csv so to do and uh, load that particular csv file in the sync side i'll be creating a go inside container let's upload a container called cast out click create it okay so inside cast out i'll load that csv file for that come here so come here so the next step is the next step if you see we need to open adf create two linked services two data sets okay total 10 steps will be finished if you create two linked services and two data sets by opening this data factory open this data factory so go to manage let's create two linked services click new this is for a blog okay. this is for ld for blog and this is a source data set this is a subscription this is a storage test connection click read click again new create a another connection to the blob that is a sync blob okay. ls for blob or sync come down select subscription select storage account that is sync blob on test connection create it so we created the source linked service and sync linked service let's create two more data sets okay so new data set for the blob okay so source is what park it so very careful when we are creating park it so here you need to say ds for blob source the linked service is source so browse it select cast select this credit one underscore daily dot park it okay click ok sync data set let's create sync is again blob but this time it is a csv i want to convert into csv ds for blog this is a sync this is a sync link it's always browse it select the cast out container click ok click ok now let's uh, go to the next steps if we what are the next steps that we have create a pipeline drag the copy activity reference the two data sets that we created create a pipeline this pipeline you can name it as a pl underscore pl underscore data ingestion ingestion underscore ingestion underscore daily just bring the copy data activity so what is source source is parquet okay so sync is what sync is like blob only sync blob and it is of type csv okay let's debug that is our 16th step we need to run pipeline so so 15th step so let's run this we will see what will happen so if you see the pipeline is succeeded so like don't click on this click on glass so one file it read with the tall records and return into the target so as it is csv it is very easy for us to review and view it okay uh, like uh, if you see credit one underscore daily dot txt so why it is txt is coming why not the dot csv okay let's run the pipeline once again so to do that exactly what i need to do is okay so before that so source side also i just uploaded only parquet but let's upload the other uh, maybe other uh, csv files right other uh, zip files and all because you can have all those things but uh, as we have seen source data set side i am specifically selecting the parquet file that will be converted into the csv and load it here but if you run pipeline that will happen okay let me show you again see source side i just uh, pointed to the Parquet file. Sync side, I am not giving any file name. File name will be created dynamically, but file will be loaded into the cast out. Cast out is currently empty. So before I run pipeline, what I need to do before the problem is dot txt extension is coming here. The sync side by extension if you put dot csv 
it will come dot csv otherwise dot txt it will take whenever you are creating a sync data set of type csv whenever you create a sync data set type is csv it will take by default the extension is dot txt so to override that we need to change that parameter to dot csv now pipeline is succeeded if you see credit one underscore daily dot csv is coming if you see all the data is properly converted into the uh, csv but if you look at here why the double quotes are coming because uh, there is a problem with the csv the problem with the csv is maybe this comma separated right that comma can be come inside the data that's why uh, just to make that difference so there is a uh, that particular entire column value will be enclosed with the double quotes okay that is a safe let's say sync said i am deleting because now the second scenario i need to test the second scenario is i need to upload a multiple park files let's say i'll be deleting all these other type of files and let's imagine i have multiple parquet files in this particular in this particular folder okay browse it let's take this cust to parquet.cs okay what is this cust to that parquet if you want to see you can come here click file open file select cust to dot parquet so all the columns so it is a player data you have okay so what you can do come here so your source data set must point to the cust and it has to select all the files for that we were discussing earlier also source data set should not point to any particular file because we need all the files from the cust folder in that case we need to use the wildcard file options we will see how to use but sync said there is no difference there is no change is required sync container is already empty now come here go to pipeline if you come here so source side is uh, it is pointing to the folder now if you see the data set which is pointing to the folder now if you run the pipeline it will throw error because source side it is pointed to the folder please select the wildcard so you need to come here and uh, put the star here then click debug now those two csv oh, sorry those two parquet files will be converted into the csv the extension is going to be dot csv this time if you are not overwriting this file format file extension by default it will be a dot txt okay now if you see the pipeline is already i think already it is succeeded see pipeline is succeeded if you come here this file just loaded 657 657 let's open this file and see whether data everything came properly yes data is proper custo.cs which is a player data from 14th to 54 ids are there yes this is also proper okay this is how we can convert the parquets to the parquet file into the csv okay so now what we will do quickly we will see the summary questions we will see the summary questions if you see the first question is which of the following file format is a columnar storage so as i mentioned parquet is a columnar storage so answer b which of the following file format is human readable csv parquet our orc is not human readable in a csv file what is used to separate individual fields within a record csv file by default it will be separated with a comma but if you want to separate with the pipe tab all those things you can able to do those uh, that particular session i'll be taking the in the upcoming sessions which of the following file format is compressed so as you know park is a compressed that's why it's not human readable which of the following file format is considered best for reading large data set efficiently is park it because park it stores the data in a columnar file format which is efficient in reading the data next which of the following file formats can automatically infer schema from the data so infer schema automatically done with the help of the parquet file uh, because for csv files and all we need to read one more time data in order to scan the data types what all column cid integer cnm uh, string all those uh, data types column names for that you need to scan data the performance by csv is bad in spark that's why we prefer to use parquet so parquet file format is widely used in the spark which of the following data processing framework is commonly associated with the use of parquet file is apache spark yes in the apache spark mainly we will deal with the parquet files okay that's why even the advanced feature of the data which delta which stores the data in the parquet file format okay that's all for today team if you have any questions feel free to put your uh, questions in the comment section i'll answer all of your questions 
and i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and support me and encourage me to thank you thank you that's all for today